Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is some mite wash tests. I have had uh, the oxalic acid extended release sponges on these hives for a little while. Uh, didn't really like how those first sponges performed. Uh, they got pretty brittle and stuff. So I ended up making an, another batch with the uh, shop towels. Uh, the shop towels have been on for almost two weeks now. So uh, we're going to go down here, get in, get some frames with some brood, uh, get a shake of bees, and do a little bit of testing here, and kind of see what we get for mites on uh, this hive here and a couple others. This one here was a swarm I captured, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly when. It's probably in uh, late June, sometime about there. So, uh... I don't think it was a uh, like a an original queen from like oh 2020. I think it was a later later swarm perhaps. But e anyways, we're gonna end up uh, checking the hive out for mites, seeing how they do in the mite wash, seeing how well this uh, oxalic acid is doing, and whether I need to do some vaporization here uh, in the next couple weeks and kind of check check that out okay so kind of looking down into the hive here I've got the white you see there that's a, a dry swiffer that's to uh, combat the small high beetles this hive here, I really haven't seen that many small hive beetles in them. A couple of my other hives have had some. So that's just kind of the uh, preventative there to try to keep them under control. And then I've also got this uh, two gallon frame feeder on. Right now I've got two to one sugar water on it. It's two parts sugar, one part water. Uh, it's, it mimics honey and uh, it's not gonna get them raising brood right now. So right now I'm trying to build them up for winter not trying to raise brood they're already doing a pretty decent job with that uh, fall flow for us has been uh, less than ideal we've had really dry conditions I haven't really seen much uh, going on on the hives there is a little bit coming in but not much like right now should be able to sniff and it should smell like uh, stinky feet right now I'm not smelling anything so I don't think there's really much uh, goldenrod coming in at all, unfortunately. Other parts of the state are having a pretty good fall flow. Uh, for us right now, really poor. So I am feeding. Okay, let's see if we got any brood up top. I'm guessing I'm going to have to crack this uh, upper box off. Pretty sure last time when I looked in here, the top was just all, all food. So that's just uh, some syrup they're, store, they're storing. No eggs. Same with the next, just all, all syrup. When I uh, caught this, I used the 5 over 5 nukes to catch the swarm. And uh, here a few weeks ago, I moved them into. Uh, Double deep. So we're gonna take this top box off. And try to find some uh, brood frame down here where we can shake some nurse bees off. Much activity going on there. I don't know how much I'm really going to be laying right now. Uh, when I was in last weekend putting feet on, there was some pollen coming in. 
so there is still a little bit of, of a flow probably just enough to kind of keep them keep them going right now they're mainly just storing there are some hive beetles down here on the bottom there is a little bit of brood not as much as I'd like to see I'm trying to get the winter nest ready Okay, so this frame has some good eggs and stuff on it. Uh, obviously, before you do a mite wash, you want to make sure the queen is not on that frame. So you got to really check closely, because the last thing you want to do is kill a queen, especially this time of year, being middle of September. That'd be a bad day. So this queen I have marked, uh, she's laid this all up with eggs, so she should be pretty close, but just want to double check everything, and yep, I don't really see, So I've got this plastic tub here, I'm going to shake some bees off into it here. Kind of let that sit a minute. So that will allow the older bees to kind of fly off. I'm going to look at this next frame here real quick. It's drawn up really well. Nice loaded frame of capped brood. So, there is some brood there, which I knew there would be. Okay, so what we're going to do is get about a quarter of a cup. So, that's about 300 bees. I didn't bring my measuring cup, but I've got this uh, Roa check kit that I bought from Man Lake. It's got a little cup on there. I'll just uh, dump dump some bees on there, what I think are about 300. I've done this a few times, so kind of get a good eyeball on it. Dump about that many in there. Take that, get them in your alcohol. Get them in there. I'm gonna shake it up a minute here. Okay, so I've it around a little bit I'm gonna try to get this into the light where you could see the bottom um, I have used this before a few weeks ago so there is there is one mite right down there at the bottom that was from last time uh, zero mites in this wash that I can see zero mites that's a good if I remember right, when I washed this one last time, I only had one. So, for this one, obviously, the treatments are keeping everything in check. So, we're going to wash another larger hive here. Do the same thing. Demonstrate again. Okay. Alright. Let's check out this hive. Kind of a similar setup. 
This one here just got the uh, one gallon feeders. This one there's probably there's probably no brood up here either. I can't remember. Got several hives. Cell, sugar, honey. Probably gonna have to crack the bottom again. Nothing on that. Nothing on that. Next one looks very similar. So we're gonna go down the bottom. Okay, so there is the oxalic acid but on the shop towel. Just kind of move that off to the side there. Crack this open, start in the middle. That's where your eggs and stuff are going to be anyhow. On these eight frame boxes, with the, when I use these plastics, I've got plenty of room. So here we got a frame of cat brood, a lot of honey, probably not a good one, next couple over look a little better. Trying to do this one handed here, nothing real fresh. That one's got some good larvae. Alright, I'm going to have to put you down and check this for the queen here. Okay, so I'll try to get that in the light. On this one, i seeing a lot of stuff in there. Maybe, get my hand different. There's a lot of little bee junk. Some stingers and... Couple stingers and some other stuff. There might be one mite on it. I see one there. That looks fairly new. So there's probably one on that. So one mite. So after seeing that, you know this hive's doing pretty good too. I wouldn't. I'm not too concerned about a single mite in a wash. Uh, you know, if you started to have, oh, would be like six. More than six, you have a pretty good uh, good mite problem. So something to check. Uh, this is the first time I've ever used these extended uh, release oxalic acid. I'm gonna leave these on a couple more weeks. I'm gonna do some washes again and see how they're doing here in a couple weeks. If it's still the same, then I'm not gonna bother with the vapor. But right now. Uh, so far with these two bigger colonies, uh, the mites look like they're they're doing doing all right. We've got them under control. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and try to answer them. Good luck with your bees this fall.